हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम गौरव मकवाना आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय अनदर वीडियो टोटल बायोटेक गाइड इन टुडेज वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बायोरिएक्टर और फर्मेंटेड डिजाइन व्हिच इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक रिलेट टू अ डाउनस्ट्रीम प्रोसेसिंग एंड फर्मेंटेशन टेक्नोलॉजी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड इन टुडेज वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मेजर पार्ट्स ऑफ फर्मेंटर लाइकवाइज मटेरियल यूज्ड इन फर्मेंटर देन सील्स मिक्सिंग कंपोनेंट्स पार्ट्स सैंपलिंग पॉइंट बॉटम ड्रेनेज सिस्टम एयर फिल्टर एंड कंट्रोलिंग डिवाइस so today's video going on very interesting level stay tuned with us and enjoy this video lecture first history debris and alive men in 1944 they used a, a large scale fermenter for production of a yeast then now we'll discuss one by one this parts first material used in a fermenter so mainly uh, for material which is used in a designing of fermenter having a this kind of property like non corrosive non toxic uh, tolerable for, uh, from the steam then with stand of a high pressure and a resist ph changes majorly two kinds of material is used worldwide first one is a glass and second one is a stainless steel first glass fermenter is a mainly small laboratory scale fermenter having a 1 to 10 cm cube diameter is also uh, used because of their uh, transparency easily examine or mainly two parts are there first one is a, a glass vessel round flat uh, and inside the round flat uh, vessel uh, sterilized plates is there which is uh, further uh, use uh, used in autoclave processes then uh, stainless steel above and the bottom side okay so this is the major parts of a glass fermenter then stainless steel fermenter is used for industrial high scale production or stainless steel a material which is provide resistance to toxic substance so this is the first material used in a fermenter second part seals uh, is a part is associated between a fermenter vessel and the top base plate mainly three types are there first one is glass gate seal second is lip seal and third one is o ring seal gasket seal is mainly uh, used when the top base plate and the vessel both are glass okay and may, uh, is mainly made up of a nitrile and butyl material then lip seal when top base plate is mainly uh, made up of metal and the vessel is glass so on that time lip seal is used and the main material is silicon and a fluorosilicon then third o ring seal so when uh, top base plate and the vessel both are Uh, made up of mainly metal so on that time o ring seal is preferable or is mainly made up of a ptfe poly tetra fluoroethylene and a neoprene material the important point in uh, sealing is what sealing assembly for a sterile shaft shaft is a device which helps in the agitation process or located in middle of the reactor now uh, the gap between the uh, rotating sterile shaft and the fermenter body must be sealed because if not seal they opens the way uh, for airborne contaminants for so that several types of uh, uh, sterile seals have been developed uh, first one is a mechanical seal mechanical seal is designed to uh, design to against a rotating shaft using a two flat surfaces here you can see and this kind of assembly uh, provides a seal at the point of entry or exit of the rotating shaft then second packed blend seal here a uh, gland packing is mainly consist of a twisted material such as a graphite ptfe or armite fibers that are placed around the shaft this kind of uh, mainly assembly is mainly observed around the shaft and uh, mainly uh, this is used to create a barrier that prevents the escape of a fluid or a gases and allows for a smooth and efficient operation of the machinery here you can see then third magnetic drive magnetic seals or uh, magnetic drive are used to uh, when axial space are limited and this kind of design uh, is prevents mainly leaks and contaminants making them ideal for uh, handling corrosive or hazardous fluid in the various industry okay so this kind of uh, this three are the main uh, sealing assembly for a sterile shaft then third mixing components three main structural components are there for mixing first one is impeller for agitation process second sparger for aeration and the third one buffers for breaking vortex first impeller also known as agitator 
mainly agitation process is done by impellers or uh, a major function of impeller is what for uh, mixing the following components like as a susp uh, suspended microorganism media oxygen and also uh, useful in the transferring heat and provide oxygen then also uh, impeller blades are reduce the size of a bubbles and uh, breaking the foams various type of impeller are there first one is a disc turbines or a piston turbines consist a disc with a rectangular vanes set on the outer side here you can see in a diagram then second vein disc consist of a disc with a rectangular vanes set on the inner side of a disc then open turbines of a variable pitch consist only rectangular vanes in the marine propeller the blades of a marine propeller are directly attached to, to the shaft then second sparger or uh, which is used for a uh, mainly aeration process in this process uh, sterile air is introduced in the medium of a fermentation tank a sterile air can be passed through a glass wool filters at the bottom the and this uh, uh, sparger pipes contain a small holes about 5 to 10 mm and through these small holes air is released in the form of a tiny bubbles which helps in the mixing of a medium also three types porous sparger which is used in a laboratory scale or mainly made up of a ceramics then second orifice sparger used in a small or a large scale and uh, sparger ha have holes at least 6 mm in a diameter and third nozzle sparger used in laboratory as well as industrial scale it has a single open uh, closed pipe provide steam in form of air bubbles here you can see all three diagrams then importance of uh, agitation and aeration we will discussing brief in another video uh, then now third buffers uh, buffers associated on the walls of a fermenter and these uh, buffers are mainly uh, roughly 1 to 10th uh, 1 to 10th of a vessel diameter and major function of appellage is to what to break uh, uh, vortex formed during the agitation process so this is the third mixing components then next fourth parts parts are located on the top of the fermentation vessel different parts are present the supply for different components via silicon tube likewise feeding part uh, used for fermentation media then uh, inoculation part is used for adding seed culture then buffer part is used for adding buffer solution to maintaining ph and then fourth anti foam part which is used to destroy foam during mixing uh, via adding anti foaming agents okay so these kind of uh, parts are associated and uh, mainly all addition mechanism is done by using a peristat uh, peristatic pump is mainly uh, functioning on the principle of osmosis then fifth sampling point sample is collected uh, through a sampling point and this sampling point should be provided a septic withdraw uh, of a sample then sixth bottom drainage system it is a septic outlet present at the bottom of the fermenter and used to removal of entire fermented media and the product formed after the fermentation process is completed and it is a different from the sampling point okay here sampling point and bottom drainage system both are the different next seven air filter oxygen enriched air is used for sparging mechanism to achieve the desired breath aeration and dissolved oxygen levels two types are there inlet air filter and exhaust air filter inlet air filter used to filter the air that coming inside consists of following components compressor is a mechanical device that increases the pressure then condenser provides a system for controlling humidity and temperature then pre filter composed of a fibrous material which removes solid particulates such as a pollen and the bacteria from the air then final sterile filter provides a sterile barrier between compressed inlet gas to supply to a fermenter then exhaust air filter is used to filter the air that going outside to prevent environment from biohazards consist a pre-filter removes undesirable microorganism and the final sterile filter air filtration provides a sterile barrier between fermenter air and the surrounding environment then last controlling device ph control device the ph probe is set at the top of the fermenter plate generally it is an electrode and the function of ph probe is what to check the ph of the fermentation medium then second uh, temperature control device 
temperature control device contains a thermometer probe, heating element, and a controlling coils, or also jacket around the fermenter, which is a uh, major function of uh, this all element is to measure the temperature. During the fermentation process, various reactions take place in the fermenter. That is why optimum temperature is required for the microbes. A temperature probe is used to measure the temperature of the culture, growth, and the fermentation vessel. Temperature probe is nothing but is a kind of a temperature sensor. Then next, a dissolved oxygen probe. It monitors dissolved oxygen in the system, also known as a DO electrode, which is used to measure the partial oxygen level. Then fourth, pressure gauge. An industrial fermenter are designed with standard specific pressure gauge. Uh, pressure gauge also monitors the uh, pressure inside the fermenter tank. Then fifth, in controlling device, rotameter. Rotameter is a device that measures the flow rate of air which is uh, attached to air sparger. Then foam control device. Foam is produced during the fermentation process. It may happen contamination during the foam production. Therefore, it is necessary to remove via uh, by using anti-foaming agents or by mechanically breaking of a foam. Anti-foaming agents likewise uh, insoluble oils, then polydimethyl silyoxanes and other silicones, certain alcohol, stearate, and glycols are used. The last biosensor, which is used to check the change of respiration or the amount of metabolites. So these are the controlling device. We completed our topic. This is all about how bioreactor or fermenter design. In next video, we will going to discuss about the different types of bioreactor or fermenter. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video lecture. If you want to get more and more interesting videos like that. Join with us, subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon, never be an update. Thank you so much friends.